Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be showing the basics of Video Star. So if you're new to Video Star, it can be really confusing at first. So I'm just here to show basically how to start making edits in Video Star. I literally sound so annoying. I'm sorry. So I'm going to be showing five main points in this video on how to make an edit and how to use Video Star just so it can be less confusing and this can help you guys a lot because it was really confusing for me when I first started. So first when you head into Video Star, it should look like this and you're going to see all these buttons and you're probably going to be really confused. But if you want to make an edit or basically just a new video file, then all you want to do first is you want to click the plus in the top right hand corner. And once you do that, it's going to give you these options of your video format, which is basically the shape of your video or edit that you're going to make. So I usually just stick with the square, but again, it's up to you. It doesn't really matter which one you do. Then if you're doing an edit, then you want to click select song, which is right here. If you're doing a video and you're just editing a video, then I would click on edit video. So I'm just going to click on select song. And then you want to go to videos, which is right down here. And you should have your audio already saved in your camera roll if you're making an edit. Once you have chosen your audio from your camera roll, then it will bring you to this screen. And again, there are so many buttons, it probably looks really confusing, but it's actually really simple. So all you want to do is to listen to your audio, you just want to click this button right here, and it's just going to play whatever is in the gray rectangle. So say you want to edit the length of your audio, then you can play your audio, and you can click select start for where you want your audio to start and then you can drag your dot to where you want your audio to end and click set end which is down here and then you can continue to play it over and keep editing your audio. Hopefully that makes sense but if that still doesn't make sense then you can just watch me do it right now. Once you have done that then you just want to go ahead and click on make a video which is right here so now it will bring you to this screen and this little box thing is gonna pop up and it's gonna say these options so if you are making an edit with pictures then you want to click on import photo and if you're making an edit with videos then you want to click on import video I'm just gonna do an edit with photos so I'm going to click on import photo and I'm going to select one picture from my camera roll so once you've selected your picture then it will bring you to this and this is basically where you crop your picture so that the picture fits in your video so you just want to take both of your fingers and crop the picture just like this so once you're done with that just click next in the top right hand corner and then you're just going to select your length for your first picture so what you want to do to play it is you want to click the same exact button which is this button and then you're just going to click set length for wherever you want your picture to stop being played in your audio by the way what you're picking right now is how long you want your picture to be shown in your audio then you're just going to click on import photo right down here so now for your edit, then you're just going to click on add, which is down in the bottom right hand corner. And then you just want to click import photo and pick your picture from your camera roll and crop it and everything. And you want to keep doing that until your audio is completely full for your edit. I'm just doing two pictures because I'm just showing an example. So now you have both of your pictures imported and this is where your transition gets put in. If you don't know how to do any kind of transitions, I'll have a few simple tutorials linked below for beginners. So you are basically going to have two options on how you do your transitions. You can click on new and then you can either click on re-effect or multi-layer. 
and I've gotten so many questions if you have to pay for multi-layer and yes you actually do have to pay for multi-layer so if you can make pay for multi-layer then I would suggest doing that but if you can't then it's totally fine because re-effect also has some great transitions and I do have a tutorial on free transitions on video star so i'll also make sure to link that below so that's where you choose your choice to do either re-effect or multi-layer just for the sake of this video because i know a lot of people can't pay i'm going to be doing re-effect just so you guys can see that you don't have to pay and stuff like that i'm going to be doing a free zoom in transition so if you don't know how to do that i'll have the tutorial linked down below and it's for beginners So I quickly did this transition and I just did it fast so obviously it's not the best but it is a transition and it is for free. This is what the transition that I did looks like. So obviously in the other YouTube video that I made on that transition, it looks better because I took more time on it. But that's just an example of one free transition you can do if you're a beginner at Video Start and you can't pay yet. Another thing that a lot of beginners don't really know is that you can get a lot of really cool free effects that are super easy to use and you don't need any experience to use them one of them is the flicker effect and it adds a really cool flash which can make your edit actually way better even though it's pretty easy and it doesn't take a lot of time what you want to do is you want to make sure that your white dot is on the clip that you want to add the flicker to and then you want to click on new which is down here and then you want to click on this re-effect button then you want to click on the plus in the bottom right hand corner and then on the search bar that is to the left then you're just going to search and you are going to search flicker and it will show this like flicker thing then you're just gonna click to the side and click this down arrow that's right here. And if you look to your left, there's this little like line and that's basically if you like play with it, it controls how much that it will be flashing and flickering. All you have to do is you can click re-effect and you just move your flicker button. To how much you want it to flat really is so easy also another tip that is really easy too is you want to make sure that this button right here in the top left hand corner says half x instead of one x and all you have to do to do that is you just click on it one time and it will automatically do that and by doing that it will basically just make the clip slower so that it's easier to control so you can watch me do it So this is what the flicker effect looks like on the clip. So that is basically some of the basics of Video Star. Technically that's how to make an edit in Video Star, but you get it. I was basically just showing you guys the basics in Video Star. I hope you guys like this week's tutorial. And make sure to subscribe if you want to see more tutorials because I post tutorials once a week. I'm also thinking of starting a vlog part on this channel. So like I would still post editing videos, but also maybe like once a week I could post like a vlog, but I'm still not sure about that. I just feel like it would be fun. So again, thank you so much for watching this video and comment some tutorials you want to see. I'll see you guys next week.